Hi traders, welcome to my brand new series called 1001 Challenge. In this series, I'm going to be trading using Petrov Alexandrov's teachings. Why 1001? Because when I go live with this, uh, I will be trading with $1,001. I recently bought and completed two Udemy courses, both costing me $50 total. Both these courses seem like they provide some really good value. The first course will be providing 99 free EAs every month and the second course provides 100 free EAs each and every single month. Now I don't pretend to be an expert in these courses, I have just taken them myself. This video series I will be documenting my journey and trying to apply the teachings in the course and developing myself as a trader. There are three main steps to this challenge. The first step is to generate the strategies using EA Studio or FSB Pro. I don't actually have the software yet, so let's skip step one and go straight to step two. The reason I can do this is because the Udemy course provides 99 plus 100 expert advisors every month. So I'm going to grab that and head straight to step two. I'm going to put the 199 expert advisors on two separate demo accounts and then we'll start migrating the good ones over to live. First of all, I'm going to head to Udemy and the two courses that I've purchased from Petco is the 100 Forex Strategies and the Automated Forex Trading. Um, these have This one has 99 um, expert advisors every month and this one has 100 expert advisors every month. As of recording, I paid $26.99 for each of these courses. I know on the screen it says $19.99, but I don't know what's with you and me. Actually, when I pressed the buy now, the $19.99 price disappeared and um, the $26.99 was the price that I paid for each course. In the 100s Forex Strategies course, you'll find the um, list of MT4 and MT5 expert advisors in um, section three under resources. So I'm gonna grab this one and download that. In the automated Forex trading plus 99 expert advisors under section four, under resources, I'm gonna grab the MT4 experts. The files that you downloaded are .rar files, so I need to grab an extractor. I choose 7-zip, so I'm gonna quickly install that. For my demo portfolios, I do use a PC located in the dungeon, so it is subject to my internet and my electricity provider. Only do, when I move to live do I use a VPS. And this is just how I've got mine set up. You don't have to copy my process. I just want to show you how I do things. You can see I've already got a whole bunch of other MT4 terminals running other tests. And I do have a little .bat file on my desktop that I use to maintain and control my PCs. So for this experiment, I'm going to use Go Markets um, as my broker because their spreads are fairly good and I will plan to be using them for my live account. This .bat file is what I use to control and start my terminals uh, every time I do a reboot so I have to go and find out uh, which terminals I'm using. Um, you can see here I've already got a Go Markets uh, terminal number one so I need two more for this experiment so I'm going to copy these. Oops. So next time I start my PC, I know number two and number three are going to be started. You can see on this PC, I do have a lot of different MT4 terminals testing a lot of different brokers. I, my naming convention is generally MT4 underscore slash 010203. Also do have a bunch of MT5 terminals, not many, so I do try to separate in them into MT4 and MT5 by the naming standards here. So I'm going to go back and open the two MT4 terminals that I'm planning to use for this experiment, the Go Markets uh, Terminal 2 and Terminal 3. I've got my two terminals set up. These are old demo accounts, so don't worry about the ba account balances. I use these accounts for testing all of my expert advisors. First step is to copy the expert advisors into each of the folders. Go to File, Open Data Folder, MQL4, Experts. And copy all the expert advisors that you've extracted into the Experts folder. Same with their second terminal. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we need to compile all the MQL4 code for each one. So right click on Expert Advisors, hit Refresh. And the other one, hit Refresh. Okay, this one wasn't that long because this one was only compiling about 10 different EAs. This one is compiling 99 EAs. So that one will take a little bit longer. All done, let me expand it. We can see we have a lot of EAs to open up. Let's start with the portfolio first. I see all these are Euro USD, so we don't need all this other guff in here. I'm going to hide all and only show US USD. This is a tip to save your processing and CPU. Now we need 10 separate uh, Euro USD terminals. One. I don't like this grid, so I'm quickly going to change it to uh, remove the grid. Right click, template, save template as default. Now that I've saved it as default, all future charts will with, won't with have that grid. So we've opened up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and right click to cascade everything. We need to make sure we've got the right time frame for each one. So we need two H1s and M1, another M1, we got need an M15, M15, M30, M30 and M5. Okay, both MT4 terminals have been set up and my wrists are killing me. Talk about RSI. The next very, very important thing that we have to do that a lot of people don't realize is that you have to have a controlled close of the MT4 terminals. So both of these, I'm going to hit the X to close them. And then I'm going to reopen them. With a controlled closure, the MT4 terminal remembers all the settings and all the charts that you've put on. So worst case scenario, if the computer was to crash and you reopened MT4 again, all your charts would still be saved. If you don't do a controlled closure, then if your PC crashes and you open up your MT4 terminal, who knows what kind of charts. It could be the default charts from when you first opened the demo chart account or whatever charts. So very important to do a controlled closure of all your terminals every time you make a change to MT4. If you like my analytical style to robot trading, please hit that like button so I know that this is the kind of content that you want to see. When you're trading robots, especially if you're trading a lot of robots, you need a system where you can be super organized and track the progress of all your robots. My personal approach is to use ClickUp. I do use the paid version so I can get custom fields, but the free version is perfectly fine. You can also achieve the same in either a Word document, whatever system you have. Let me show you mine. So I've got a bunch of um, different boards. I've got demo, um, live, here I've got my demo uh, tracker. I'm going to quickly create a new task by clicking on the task list and I'm going to call it 2023 before 10th. The beauty of ClickUp is you can put anything you want in here. You can put a description and I love this side bit here where you can put comments. So the paid version versus the free version is I have these custom fields. So I can choose whether this is a demo account or a live account, what PC it is because I have so, so many um, and uh, the robots I'm using. So this one started off today on the 10th of April. You can also add attachments. So here I'm just going to drag my file straight onto the browser. So in the future, if I needed to go back to these files for any reason at all, if I corrupted the files, then at least I have a copy in ClickUp. And I'm going to put some notes here. 
I am a random crazy person on the internet with absolutely no credibility. So you shouldn't take this as financial advice. Always do your own testing, research and analysis. By doing this video series, I want to develop myself as a trader and become fully independent, not reliant on anybody else. I want to gain the skills to develop my own expert advisors and manage my own portfolios and get out of the shiny object syndrome where you see, ooh, a fancy new expert advisor, let's buy that. And then next month, ooh, another fancy new shiny object, let's buy that. If you want to follow the progress of my journey and all the links to my FX Blue links, I will add them to the members area of my website, which is totally free to join. Now that everything is set up, let's leave it trading on demo for about a week and we'll re revisit everything then to pick the best ones to move to live. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.